Okay. WWE has a new list up on their website. And before you all know, you probably say that all their lists are bullshit, but they got the new list up called uh, the 25 Best Intercontinental Champions. And I'm going to be uh, doing the video and reading off the list at the same time. So I'm going to go to the tab where the list is at. Let's look at it. Number 25, we have uh, Shelton Benjamin. All right, all right, he can stay. He can stay right there. Next to 24, Cody Rhodes. Eh. Did like the fact that he brought back the classic Intercontinental Championship, but yeah, he can stay there. Next to 23. Stone Cold Steve Austin. Yeah. It's either, uh, yeah, he could stay there or just be bumped off the list because, in my thoughts, why would you have uh, Austin on the list uh, since he was the one who basically called the Intercontinental Championship garbage and uh, supposedly threw it off of a bridge into a river, even though it wasn't the Intercontinental belt, but, but another belt to represent it. Still, it was more or less saying that he kind of uh, spit on the legacy of the belt. But whatever, is what it is. Moving on to number 22, Jeff Hardy. Uh, would like to see him in the, uh, would, would like to see him, uh, uh, over 20, maybe closer to the top 10, but, uh, is what it is, he's no longer, he's with the, a opposing company, it's nice that they even mentioned him, though, next to 21, Gold Dust, well, yeah, one thing, uh, would like to see him a little higher on the list, too. Over to 20. Jeff Jarrett. Mm, whatever. Whatever. Number 19. The Rock. I don't know. Maybe The Rock should be a little higher, though. Who knows? 18. Uh, uh, Edge. Yeah. Yeah, he can stay where he's at. Yeah, keep him where he's at. Off to number 17. Who we got? Greg the Hammer Valentine. Never really saw much of him uh, as Intercontinental Champion. Uh, eh, maybe he could be replaced with somebody else, but whatever. Number 16. Triple H. Yeah. It was an alright Intercontinental Champion, but... Uh, when he was, mo this was more or less from the uh, two-man power trip era. It was uh, Hunter Hearst Helmsley when he was Intercontinental Champion. I'd probably agree with you, but uh, they, but like I say, it was somebody from the main event holding the Intercontinental title. Off to number fifteen. Rob Van Dam. Yeah. Yeah, I agree with it. Number 14. Don Morocco. Yeah, he was 
yeah, agree with it, maybe a little higher, maybe a little higher, but, uh, because of the fact that he was one of the first few Intercontinental Champions, agree with it. Number 13, Shawn Michaels. Don't know why why Shawn Michaels wouldn't be in the top ten. Oh whatever. Probably I got some probably got some uh sketchy ones in the top ten, but whatever. Moving on to number twelve. Uh, Pat Patterson. Wow. First ever intercontinental champion at number twelve. Oh, they didn't even, they didn't even put him in the, they didn't even put him in the top ten. Moving on to number eleven, Rick Rude. Yeah, yeah, I think Rick Rude should definitely be in the top ten. Yeah. That's kind of an outrage that he's at number 11. Number 10. Tito Santana. Eh. What up? Could be a... Yeah, trade places with uh, Santana and Rick Rude. Off to number 9. Randy Orton. Eh. Yeah, he can he can stay where he's at. No complaints. He pretty much uh, pretty much was the first superstar to bring uh, that title back to uh, back to the title of Workhorse Championship. But whatever, he can uh, he's all right where he is. Number eight, Pedro Morales. Eh, whatever. Eh, is what it is. Number seven, Brett the Hitman Hart. Damn. Why? Ah, whatever. Could be a, could be one or two higher, but whatever is what it is. Number six, Razor Ramon. Don't know why Razor Ramon ain't in the top five. Eh, moving on to number five, Honky Tonk Man. Longest, yeah. Yeah, and it suits him. Longest reign, reigning champion, longest reigning intercontinental champion in history. So yeah, that yeah, that's yeah, that's all right. Number four, Mr. Perfect. Yeah, would like to see him at number one. Personally, I would like to see Mr. Perfect at number one, but. Uh, Number four ain't nothing to sneeze at. Off to number three. Ultimate Warrior. Yeah. Like to see the yeah, it's kinda nice that they're not putting him in at putting Warrior at number one just because he uh recently died, but number three's alright. Number two Uh, Chris Jericho. Yeah. Uh, I kind of believe it. Kind of go with it. Nine-time Intercontinental Champion. And our number one uh, greatest Intercontinental Champion, according to WWE.com. Macho Man Randy Savage. Eh. Eh, I'll take it. I'll take it. And that was the, uh, 
top 25 uh, intercontinental champion, top 25 intercontinental champions in the WWE on WWE.com. Of course, there's a couple couple uh, names on the list that could be a little higher, but I'm pretty satisfied with it the way it is. Leave a comment on uh, who you think should be in the be in the top 25 below. If you would uh, change anybody, move move anybody around, uh, just leave the comment below and peace the fuck out.